good morning. I'm David Murray Hundley. I'm the Grump Entrepreneur, and this is uh, going to be probably five minutes in the car with Grumps. So, um, thanks to Ryan for lending me the GoPro, which is currently gaffer taped into my dashboard until I get a holder for it. And uh, what I thought I'd do is I've got a book coming out later this year, and I thought I'd share with you some of the questions I get asked a lot, but also that leads into what the content of the book is going to be. Um, those of you who know my profile out there, I'm pretty honest about things. Uh, I kind of figure in as well, you don't need any bullshit. So, you know, let's get on with it. Um, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, how do you know you want to work with, whether it be an awkward person, someone you just like, whether it be like a job level, or even just as a business level. Um, one of my first things, questions I ever asked Reid Hoffman in 2010 on a phone call was how did he know he wanted to work with wankers? That's effectively it. So here's the thing, there's a couple of kind of ground rules. Number one, it depends on your personality. So some people are really good at disconnecting themselves from uh, emotional uh, challenges they have with people. Uh, unless you're me, of course, where you tend to say exactly what you think, usually to mostly to the shock of other people, but you also kind of figure you're not wasting any more time and they know exactly where they stand with you. The other thing to bear in mind as well is you've got to have some goals. It's risky. I've seen very good companies ruined by uh, idiots and the, 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 the thing about them is, is that they don't change. They tend to stay the same for probably the duration of your business, they may have the odd day where they're not an idiot, but in general, they have got a track record that isn't brilliant. It's generally a track record of causing havoc, being disruptive, being a little bit backstabbing, etc. So you need to bear that in mind, you know, as I say, leopard never changes its spots. I don't think those types of people do either. Um, so you need goals. You need to know, you know, is it worth the risk? Is it worth the risk to yourself personally, you know? As a guy who's been in business over 20 years now, um, the older you get, the less you kind of put up with stuff. You have to bear that in mind. So if you're a 21 year old, go for it. You'll be all right. You'll live another day, even if it goes wrong. And it's probably not gonna have that much impact on you personally. You're 42 years old like me, which is an old man, um, you tend to take it a little, it takes a little bit more out of you. Um, so bear that in mind. The other thing is with these goals, you know, what is it you wanna get out of this? So. The thing with goals is, is that, you know, we have to write them down. Uh, people think that they remember these things or they stick them in a business plan, but your own personal goals and what you get out of this and for the effort you're putting in and having to put up with, it's really important to write them down, stick them in a desk, write them in your journal and refer back to them. So when the days are bad, you go, ah, oh, that's why I'm putting up with this idiot sat in my boardroom causing havoc and probably ruining my business. Um, but more importantly, how do you spot one? Okay, which is what I was asked by someone the other day. Um, in my experience, uh, they come in sh different shapes and form. Uh, they're generally the ones who are not listening to everyone else around a board table, uh, haven't even looked into what those people have done around a board table, and typically say they've done all this amazing stuff. Yeah, you know, in the age we live in, you can't really find what they've done. So that's another, that's one signal. The other thing as well, they're nice to everyone. In my experience, the ones I've dealt with that are probably the smartest ones at positioning themselves are the ones who come across like they're doing you the biggest favor in the world and they're lovely. And they're the ones that are actually really sneaky and they're the ones you have to watch. And I've had businesses of late where I've experienced that and to be honest with you, every organization has one. Um, it's never gonna change. Uh, and um, you just get good at spotting them. So, you know, that's a little bit of an insight uh, into how you deal with these people. I think, you know, just to recap, the really important stuff is, is that you've got to make sure you've got goals because what you don't want is that you've spent two years dealing with this individual, it's taken every bit of energy you had left in you out of you, and you end up with nothing, okay? You know, I, I talk about in one of my chapters about you can always turn negatives into positives, I'm a great believer in that, so you've gotta have, you know, you've gotta have where the negative might be in this whole relationship you have with this person, and absolutely make sure that you can kind of sit at the end and go, yeah, do you know what, that wasn't so bad, I got this out of it. The other thing to bear in mind, okay, and this, is, this comes with experience, um, you will bump into them in a future point and you would have succeeded and you would have done well and just wait for that little subtle moment that you get to do that. You don't have to gloat with people like that. I was talking to someone the other day saying, oh, you know, don't you find an opportunity with these people to kind of gloat at them and kind of say, told you so. Nah, I used to think you did. You don't anymore. It's not cool. And um, the best uh, mechanism for maybe um, 
get on their nerves a little bit is by going, actually, uh, I've done this in the last five years. Oh, and what have you done? Well, probably nothing, because that's what you did previously. So anyway, there's more videos to come. Uh, it's been a good week. Um, just to reference uh, an event I was up on Thursday called Crowdfinders. Uh, have a look at it. It's www.crowdfinders.com, uh, run by a friend or some friends of mine, uh, Will, Alex, and Luke amazing event uh, second one for me it was on a panel about the future of crowdfunding uh, it got quite heated so if you get to see the video which I think is coming up in um, a few weeks uh, it should be quite amusing um, and uh, next week is uh, a week of uh, various panels and various doing some work as well at some point uh, and generally as I say to everyone having fun so uh, it's Saturday morning have a great weekend